1914, Vet Shooks made a reality of his dream to buy farmland near Central Lake. Today, Shooks Farms is a family operation with sons Daryl and Brian and grandsons Greg, Rob, John, and RJ. Raising 175 acres of tart, sweet, and Balaton cherries, 400 head of Holstein cattle, and 600 acres of corn, soybeans, and canola. The operation is meat verified in farmstead, cropping, and livestock. Well, meat's an important part of our farm because it does a couple of different things. Number one, it has given us a chance to look at our farm through different eyes and say, okay, what can we do to improve? And what can we do to make sure that we're operating with, within safe guidelines and so forth? And another thing it does is it greets the people when they come in our farm, they see that meat verification and it assures them we are doing the best possible job that we can within uh, our abilities to grow an environmentally friendly product. One resource vital to cherry production is water. I believe sustainable agriculture has to do with asset protection. One of the biggest assets we have in our area is our water. Now a tool such as MEEP allows us to test that water and to make sure it's clean and usable to our tart cherry program here, also providing protection and resource to our environment. Meat verification included upgrading fuel storage and chemical storage. This is our pesticide storage containment facility. Each one of our orchard sprayers and our field sprayers are filled in this area. Uh, the floor is sloped at a certain degree so that everything drains into the middle. Um, and if we do have a spill, everything is contained as well as our excess water that comes out of the pump goes into here. In the field, Shooks Farms employ cover crops, buffer strips, and soil testing. In the orchard, an integrated pest management plan is in place. We've been in integrated pest management now, or IPM, for about 15 years. We employ a gentleman who comes around to our farm, and he goes through our orchards once a week, and he goes through it with a fine tooth comb, and what he's looking for are various diseases and various insects, and he will come back at the end of the day, and he will give us a report showing us what he found. And if he found a certain level of insects and it requires a spray, then he'll say so or recommend that. If he does not find that, then of course we're able to save a spray. Orchard management includes legume, orchard seeding, and drift control and weed management plans. Well, it's late September right now and we're just about to begin our fall weed spray program. And we incorporate with our fall weed spray program a, a fertilizer as well. So what we're doing is we're not only spraying the weeds with, uh, to kill them, we're also putting in a nutrient that helps to build the tree up. We used to add our fertilizers in the fall, but we've now split it to a spring application as well as a fall application, thus giving the tree two chances for it to uh, have a growing stage. Manure management is a big part of the operation with no spreading in the winter and rain runoff control. Since our cattle have uh, access to both inside and outside all time, we get a lot of rainwater. So what, one of the things we've tried to done we put these gutters to collect the, the runoff water from the barns. We've drained it back. That way we keep the, the manure outside, try to keep it dry. Here behind our barns is where we uh, try to collect most of the runoff manure, which is uh, especially important here because of our close proximity of our cherry orchards. But uh, basically we take these uh, round bales, it stops the manure and lets the rain go through. For the natural resources stewardship practices implemented to contribute to the protection of the environment while enhancing productivity, Shooks Farms in Antrim County received the 2011 Michigan Farm Bureau Ecology Leadership Award.